I think most people, when they hear the word automation, it sounds really good in their head. And I think there's a really great connotation associated with the word automation in general. I think with Notion, there is endless potential with automations. And I think we can go beyond just the conventional definition of what automating means. I think Notion Automations is a really great way to understand some of what you can do within the program and software. But in most instances, you don't need to use Notion Automations to get a feel for what automating in Notion feels like. I think a really important point here is that not everything needs to be automated, right? Adding manual process checkpoints can be helpful and over automation is a thing. I think it's better to have robust systems that work for you first before trying to automate everything and you might sort of lose that sort of quality checkpoint, the quality insurance side of things because you're prioritizing the idea that everything works on its own. And I think before you can automate anything, you have to conduct thorough bit of research, what inputs and outcomes you're hoping to create, and whether something actually needs to be automated, because maybe it's the idea of something that sounds good and not necessarily the actual process that needs to be automated itself. So automations can look different, and it doesn't have to be fancy trigger and then a certain action that you create. And the reason why I say that is because Notion is a really versatile tool in which you can create templatizations, pre-configurations, you can use buttons, database templates, raw database views for duplication, and it makes really the recreation of things much easier through duplication and subtraction as opposed to trying to recreate it from scratch. Similar to Excel and other database manipulation softwares, we have filters, sorts, and groups. We have the ability to label database views, and we have all these other unique blocks like headers, toggles, dividers, callouts, quotes, and columns to sort of add those extra layers of automation by stacking all of these things up. I think it's only healthy to expand what automations can look like. And even if it's as simple as creating a relational filter or creating a database template where you can use a button to create certain things, those I think are equally valuable to the sort of default idea of automation in general. Automations can be iterative. And if you don't know how to configure the whole process, I think it's really important to think in stages. Because Notion is so customizable, I think it's really important to understand the full process of something before creating it and to know what you need versus knowing what you want, right? I've worked with a lot of clients within the realm of Notion Consulting where there's a lot of nice to haves and a lot of the people that I work with emphasize so much on the nice to haves that they sort of lose sight of the needs and the immediate things that need to happen first before those wants can come alive. Obviously, everyone's definition of automations can look different. When you introduce third-party programs like Make or Zapier, you add that extra layer and capability of doing much, much more in Notion. But as sort of a consultant who prefers to work natively in Notion, I think there's much more exploration that a lot of the people I've worked with have not experimented with, whether that's templates, whether that's database templates, whether that's through the database views and the, the filter sort group filters, as well as buttons and being able to create entirely new pages through a button click, for example, is something that's unfamiliar with a lot of my clients. And so if you're just getting started in Notion and you're thinking about automation, 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 I would challenge you to dig deeper into the features of Notion that in some ways save you time because templatize something and now it feels like an automation because once you've created it, you don't have to look back and ever touch it again. I think there's a lot of aspects of Notion where you build it once and then you can let it sit and it'll work the way you want it to without the need for other third party softwares, other premium features. And I think more importantly, it's important to recognize how much time you're saving through the basic features of Notion first before you dig deeper into stacking other softwares, stacking Notion automations, for example, which will require you to have a premium or plus account, and also being able to collaboratively work with one another, whether that's your team or your organization, and how that might look when it comes to reminders or notifications. And I think a lot of the misconceptions around automation can be solved through other Notion features that people just simply do not know about. So automating in Notion is obviously a sort of generic want that most people have. And I think before we even think about quote unquote automating, I would say to create robust, foundational, flexible, and versatile systems that allow you to iteratively improve upon the process, as well as layering in several different Notion features before sort of jumping to a consultant, jumping into another tool that you might have to pay for, so on and so forth. This is a rather short 
short video. I think this is more of a perspective on how I think about automation. And I hope that you're able to think about and shape your definition of what automation means so that you're not subscribing to what most of the world thinks when it comes to automation. I think another way to think about this is to have an abundance mindset about automation as opposed to having a scarcity mindset around automation and what limitations you might immediately jump to when you think about using the word, whether that's in conversation, whether that's within your organization or whether you're with a consultant, I think it's really important to dig down and understand what is something that is easily configurable that doesn't require third party apps. And how can we layer the fundamental features of Notion to do more through combinational systems and beyond, right? If you've made it this far, thanks for listening to my ramble, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.